<laughs> Have you ever heard good news about someone's life and you felt like you are going to die somewhere in the pit of your stomach and you really didn't want to feel that way? Or you were hearing about something that you really wanted in your life and realized that somebody either accomplished it first or was actually had, had it in their grasp when you thought you'd be the first one to have it or you felt like you were rightfully supposed to have it before them because maybe you prayed longer or you felt like you were more deserving. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lucy Siwetzerek and thank you so much for all the new subscribers. I really, really appreciate you guys and thank you for joining the family. And if you are new here, please consider making this your family because we are going to be talking about some really cool stuff that are going to help you in your journey with the Lord and hopefully adding more content in the future. Um, and so today, I really want to talk to someone who is struggling with jealousy and celebrating other people. It's very, very simple. Without giving you too much biblical context, um, you know, there are stories in the Bible that we can refer to. You know, Jacob and Esau, Cain and Abel, um, Rebecca and Leah, um, of where jealousy was the core of betrayal um, and the core of just ungodly happenings between people who are actually meant to be really really close as god had designed and i'm talking siblings i'm talking you know um, family members people who are supposed to stick really closely who ended up doing stuff to each other that was really terrible um, because of jealousy now here's what i believe about jealousy i believe that jealousy stems from comparison an identity um, lack of identity I'll start with comparison when it comes to comparison I believe that we all live our lives desiring to achieve something we all live our lives either knowing what we want to achieve or seeking out what we're meant to achieve and sometimes jealousy begins to grow when that is not very clear and so we begin to look at other people's lives and look at ours and think but why can't i why am i not and i believe that there is a healthy way to do that where you ask yourself lord i'm at this age i'm there i'm here but why am i not achieving this level of whatever which you know could come up with answers where the lord will direct you to either you know reinforce your discipline or work on whatever and whatever but it does get to an unhealthy state where comparison then drives your every decision comparison drives the heart posture of why you do certain things why you want certain things comparison actually can get very dangerous if it stems from a heart posture that wants to either supersede other people's efforts or supersede other people's positions in an unhealthy way I don't believe that God doesn't want us to desire to be head girl, first girl, best girl, best boy, head boy, president, you know, the best that we could ever be. But once that becomes at any cost because of someone, then it can get very unhealthy. Another thing while we're speaking about comparison is that it is very important um, to realize and be, you know, present in your own journey. Be so present and so consumed in the vision that God has for your life that your failures must literally give you like, you know, warmth. Because you know where you're going and you understand the character that God is trying to build in you because yes, that person might have gotten their degree in three years and maybe it's taking you five years and whatever, but maybe God is building something in you that will help you to sustain where you're going. Or maybe God is trying to teach you something about yourself, about your weaknesses. So be very deliberate about accepting and knowing your personal journey as a person. Your vision and your purpose will give you a clear understanding of where you're going. So that when other people are where they are, 
You know exactly where you're supposed to be. And so you will always be able to celebrate other people's strides, um, you know. And on that note, I have a very um, simple example to give you guys. I know I love giving examples. Um, but one of the examples is, you know, there was a point in my life, and I've probably said this so many times on my channel because literally it was it was a journey, um, you know, where a lot of people in my life were getting married. And I, I remember telling this to one of my friends. I was like, you know, I've been a maid of honor four times. <laughs> literally been a maid of honor four times. And it's so amazing what the Lord did in my heart in those times is that I, I was not jealous. I was not jealous because I understood how my being happy for them genuinely from the depths of my heart. And often I asked the Lord, like, Lord, help me to purely celebrate these people. Help me not to fake it, even though I know that I want this so much for myself. And I remember, you know, just having such a pure and it's just such a vigor you know to pray for them that everything must go well and it's almost like the lord then revealed to me to say when we celebrate other people's strides then he's actually able to release us for whatever he has in store for us and and so comparison is dangerous the other thing i think about jealousy is that jealousy stems from um, a lack of identity you know it is really crazy that um, sometimes growing up you realize that you had instances where you were jealous about how someone else looked when they were dressed well uh, you know like there was just that you in your heart and you're like oh you know and you're like i don't know where it comes from why do i feel like that about someone and sometimes those i think are just alarms you know for you as a person to say oh snap and um, this is probably just coming from the fact that i haven't found how I want to dress myself I haven't found how I want to represent myself so seeing someone who is so sure about themselves even in such a simple area is making you uncomfortable and so it is building that jealousy because they are in a place where you haven't found for yourself and so sometimes it's not jealousy because you're being malicious um, but it's just jealousy because you don't know your place when it in that regard and so I want to say to you guys today that jealousy can be a very very dangerous dangerous emotion a very dangerous state that it also can bring delusions i believe in the book of isaiah when it speaks about how satan fell from heaven because you know in his heart he believed that he could be better than god i know that this often comes off immediately as pride but i also think it believe it comes off as jealousy satan must have been jealous that god could have that much power and that he having all the power that he also had in heaven as a as a chief angel couldn't have as much power to control as god did and so that created something in his heart that ended up that ended up having god banish him from heaven and so jealousy is a very it can be a very dangerous um, um emotion can be a very very dangerous um, state and so if you work on it with the power of the holy spirit and you're honest you know i remember one day um my i was praying to the lord and i'm going to give a simple example because i want you to recognize areas that you are jealous in your life so that you can ask the lord to help you um you know my i just come back home you know covid hit and um my bank account was running really low and i had to um, you know come back home and you know live with my parents again and so when I got home you know I was a little bit depressed and I was like Lord why is this stuff happening the way it is why is life like this and all that stuff and you know I, I then at the time I believe it was then or was it before okay let's say then uh, because now I can't remember the time frame properly my parents washing machine had just broken and I think in my heart, I was so sad because I grew up being like a person who was always ready to help my parents. I never wanted them to suffer in any kind of way because I saw the investment that they have in other people and in us that I always wanted them to have life a little bit easier. And so at the time when I realized that um, they needed a washing machine, I saw both. And like I was like, Lord, how am I going to help them? You know, and I began to pray and say, Lord, please give me money so that i can help my parents you know and that's a pure desire lord give me money so i can buy them a washing machine and so what happened was then my sister and my brother-in-law you know had the money and they actually bought my 
parents a washing machine and instead of me being happy that they bought my parents a washing machine jealousy started to grow in my heart and it came from it, it's like the enemy knows how to take something pure and turn it into something impure but then in that process god is then able to reveal an area in your heart you must work on and this is what the lord revealed to me you know when i felt so i actually felt like oh my god why didn't god give me money to do it because i live in this house why does god have to use someone else out of this house um who has a family you know <coughs> to buy my parents a washing machine like why can't god give me the money and the lord then made me realize that you see unhealthy emotions come from unhealthy expectations when you are able to put god in his position where he was saying to me if you said to me lord i need a washing machine for my parents now lord can you give me the money to buy the washing machine or whatever a, a better income this month or whatever and then god answers that prayer the way he wants to because he's god my heart posture was supposed to be that i was looking to god but in 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 that case god showed me that no you're not looking to me you wanted to be the source of the blessing you didn't necessarily want me to be the source of the blessing because you cared so much about where it came from instead of that i brought it i really hope this video will help you guys um to work out your emotions work out your weaknesses um work out the things that you see about yourself that you don't like because god is readily available to release his spirit into that area so that you can be wild but don't ignore the jealousy ask god to help you thank you guys so much for watching i hope that if you really like this and you want to share it with someone um like share it and, sub and subscribe it would be really cool um i will definitely see you guys next time <laughs>